is electric. Hi everyone, welcome back for another energy related video. Uh, if you saw my recent video about which is my favourite portable battery, you'll know that uh, this new battery has arrived, the A3 2400 watt portable storage system. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be unboxing that today and to see whether it looks like it's going to replace the All Powers S2000 that I have. So let's have a look inside the box. Literally haven't opened it yet. A3 is a brand that I've never heard of before. There's quite a few uh, these Chinese brands coming onto the UK market, selling through warehouses in the UK and on Amazon. All Powers has been reasonably good. Um, not so sure about the reliability of the electronics inside. I have had an issue with mine. But support has been very good. Hopefully it'll be the same with uh, A3, but uh, hopefully we don't have any issues with the electronics. Okay, what have we got to start with? So one little nice grey pouch with some power cables by the feel of that. A plastic cover. Documentation, discount activity five year warranty card. That looks very similar to um, Bluetti designs of the uh, paperwork. Let's uh, get rid of the knife so I don't hurt myself. Okay, um, well, the handles are nice and smooth and easy to pick up. It's about as heavy as the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Uh, smaller physical size than the Bluetti AC200P, so that's a positive. But it is less practical to pick up than the All Powers S2000. Little storage compartment on the top, that's a new one. 2400 watts output, uh, 2 kilowatts of storage, so it really does compete with the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max and the Bluetti AC200 and the AC240 that's new out as well. Design wise, okay, solar on the side, overload correction button and powering from AC on the side, twin fans, more fans this side. Whoa. What have we got here? Okay, so that's a fail to start with, I'm afraid. A3. I've got the three UK power sockets there, but these stupid plastic covers um, that I can hardly undo because it's so stuck on there. The physical. Come on. The physical uh, manufacturing of this hasn't been made very user friendly and very easy, so I'm basically I'm not ever going to shut that again. So I guess that keeps it, I don't know, dust proof. I'm just not sure what the point of that is at all. It just wants taking off. So it looks like they've got the AC power button at the side, you've got the DC side on this side, and everything else on the front. So, right, so ergonomically, size wise, Yes, I like it. All those past plastic covers, no, I'm not a fan of. Having connections left side, right side, and the front, not perfect. And what have we got? The 12 volt input for solar panels. That's interesting. Why have we got one there? An Anderson connection. Right, this one's an XT90 for up to 500 watts of solar this side. I'm not sure what you've got in these little waterproof 
covers full um, when the rest of it doesn't seem very waterproof. Um, mimicking with the silverness, silver button here, mimicking the Bluetti. Lovely clear screen though, big text, that's nice. Light on the front, usual flashing SOS and flashing and solid USB button, 100 watt, 20 watt, 20 watt, 20 watt, and these must be the U USB A's. So lots of options. Is it waterproof or is it not? Does it say on the back? And no, it doesn't. It doesn't say it's waterproof. So I think these are mimicking the Bluetti a little bit rather than uh, functional. So what do I reckon to it? Do you know? Tactileness, the way the plastic creaks and the way these plastic flaps don't really work very well. My first thoughts are great spec, 2402 kilowatt hours. Lovely big screen, I really do like that. But the physical box, no, I still prefer the all powers, the Bluetti and the EcoFlow. So, first thoughts aren't brilliant. But it depends on the price, I guess, doesn't it? Um, and it is practical. And what did I say in the last video? The practicality um, is probably the most important thing. So, I don't know. I don't know over time. Uh, initially, I'm not that impressed with the physical plasticness of it. Um, but when I get to use it and get to try it, maybe I'll like it a bit more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video and first impressions. As always, uh, you ask a question, you get an answer from me, and it's my honest answer. That's what I think of the A3 2400 when I first opened it. Lots of potential. Twenty-seven percent. Let's power it up.